Yo, it's UG. Welcome back to Closet Talk. So, last night on February 2nd, Crunchyroll had their 2024 Anime Award. And I want to first say that I fucking hate these awards. Every year, every goddamn year, Crunchyroll has their Anime Awards. And I want you to understand that this is all like fan-based nomination. No, like, yeah. Fan-based nomination and fan-based award winners. Like, these are all based off the fans. I'm pretty sure, at least. I could be wrong, though. Anyways, this thing was at 3 in the fucking morning, all the way to 6 in the morning. So, now my sleep schedule's fucked. It is currently 2.30. Um, yeah, so that's my life right now. But fucking hell, I just had to know... And have my blood boil in anger to see what absolute horseshit went down. Secondly, I want to clarify that I am not hating on any of the people that worked on the anime. Any of the original manga art, like authors, the directors, everyone that worked on the show. They have put so much hard work and effort. And I really appreciate their dedication to create such great media for us to consume. But... The people I do hate is you. That's right, you. You piece of shit that I'm looking at that watches anime and have such horrible takes. Anime fans are terrible. I, like, I'm an anime fan and I know we are all terrible. Like, any takes or opinions we have should be taken with the fattest mound of salt that is fucking known to man like they are so shit and i hate anime fans especially specific fan bases they are terrible like holy fuck everyone every single anime fan base is terrible i want you to understand that okay so i'm not shitting on the people that worked on this show i'm shitting on the people that are consuming it so without further ado i got my phone because we are gonna go down all the anime awards and see i'm gonna speak my i'm gonna speak my truth my truth. You don't have to listen to it because, again, my opinions don't fucking matter about this. But this is, this is like some of these awards I'm about to get into really pissed me off. <sighs> so some of the awards uh, involving voice actors and like the best score or opening ending, I'm not going to talk about. But I just want to clarify that all those people well deserved. Oh, even like best director. Uh, shout out to the director for Jujutsu Kaisen. He did a fucking phenomenal job. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 was well directed, I will say. But like all the other nominees, we had like AOT, freaking Bochi the Rock, Chainsaw Man, Heavenly Delusions, and Oshinoko. All those animes made the manga that much better, in my opinion. Yes, some of these shows, aka Oshinoko, was like, once they broke down into episodes, was the pacing did kind of die. But like, my God was the direction. Everything about it was well, everything was good. Great job on everyone. Voice actors, good job. Scores, good job. I love anime opening and endings. Fucking phenomenal, right? But now let's get to the down and gritty with the first one. First anime award is the must protect at all cast anime character. And this one, I don't really give two shits about, but of course it was Anya Forger that won. I mean, everyone loves Anya. Anya's a fucking goofball. And like just a cute little creature. And like all the other nominees for this category, I could give two shits about. Best supporting anime character, of course, fucking Gojo Satoru, because it's fucking Gojo, man. Everyone loves Gojo. Best anime main character goes to Monkey D. Luffy, because of course, One Piece fans will never lose. They don't lose, no matter who the fuck is up against them. We had fucking Denji, Aaron Yeager, Mob. And fucking Thorfinn or Bo and Bochi, like all those, they they're not winning against the fucking One Piece fans. Or right? they're not losing. So, but hey, Luffy had his fucking pop off last year with the whole Gear Fifth situation, and then Wano finally ending. Oh, <sighs> but yeah, we're free from that. Best slice of life anime went to Bochi the Rock. Okay, this one I am kind of upset about, but also very happy. Because I want to clarify that Bochi the Rock was phenomenal. Like, one of the best animes that came out, according to last year for fucking Crunchyroll. Oh, yeah. Also, I want to clarify, this is stupid. So, like, Crunchyroll went from fall of 22 to fall of 23. Instead of winter 23 to fall of 23. Because that's the whole year, right? 
But uh, I don't know. Whatever. It's fucking crunchy roll. But yeah, Bochi the Rock won Best Slice of Life. In my opinion, it should have been Skip and Loafer. Because if y'all have seen my closet talks, Skip and Loafer was like the second video I've ever made and talked about. Because Skip and Loafer is fucking phenomenal. It is the most adolescent manga I have read in such a long time. And it's great. That is Slice of Life. Bochi is honestly more comedy and just like uh, any song anime, right? But hey, like good for Bochi. I'm happy for Bochi. But damn, Skip and Loafer should have won. Best drama went to AOT, and honestly, that's fair. Like, AOT has some fucking huge dra drama, fucking crazy-ass shit going down, and yeah. Okay, all right, this one, this one's bullshit. This one's absolute bullshit. All right, this one, this category is best fantasy anime. Do you guys want to guess who won? Do you guys want to guess? Do you guys want to fucking guess? Demon Slayer won. Over, guess what? Over, Jobless Reincarnation Season 2. How the absolute fuck does Demon Slayer beat Jobless Reincarnation? Like, what the absolute fuck? Like, you have the most... I, I, I dare you to find a story in anime. Any, no, I, I dare you to find a story anywhere where they make erectile dysfunction a peak plotline. I don't think you could find one. Because Mushoku Tensei Season 2 was so good. And, like, the whole world of Mushoku Tensei is great. Like, that is fantasy. How the absolute fuck is a bunch of demons roaming around in Japan best fantasy? That is horseshit. Absolute horseshit. I saw this last night, and I was ready to throw my chair at the wall. But I couldn't damage the wall, and I stopped myself because I have an inspection coming up. But when I fucking got when I saw this... Oh boy, I fucking hate Demon Slayer fans. They are fucking terrible people and they're disgusting. I hate them. How did, how, how, like, I don't understand how Mushoku Tensei lost. I really don't. I, I, that, this one, this one is one of the worst. This is the worst one. There's another worst one, but we will get to that. But this one really pissed me off. Whoa. The next reward is the best action anime. And of course I went to JJK because, I mean... My god, like, those blood, sweat, and tear from MAPPA's animators, like, they were put to fucking hell. But goddamn, some of the fucking fights were phenomenal. Like, goddamn, like, Skuna vs. Mahoraga is one of the most insane visual anime fights I have seen in a long time. Like, god, like that shit just goes crazy, right? So, like, of course that went to JJK, and, like, there was a whole bunch of... That whole season two was just about fights, you know? So it's like, damn, damn. Like, she's going crazy, man. Best comedy anime went to Spy Family. And, of course, like, Spy Family would win because it's a fucking popularity contest. But this one is what I thought Bochi the Rock should have won, in my opinion. Bochi the Rock should have won this category. But all I'm glad is that Bochi won something. And, I mean, like, Spy Family is funny as fuck, too. But, like, it's just, like, more silly. Just, like, silly funny. Like, Bochi was just funny, funny. But, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Best romance anime went to Horimiya. If you know me, you know I, I really don't like Horimiya. Uh, yeah, hot take, whatever. Fucking sue me. But, like, Horimiya was kind of just like a whatever show, in my opinion. Because they were not... It's a show about Horisan and Miyamura, the two main characters, but then like there's just so many side characters that you're just like, well, is it about those main two? Whatever. I personally thought Tomo-chan is a girl should have won this category because that was like just like straight up rom-com and like I find that funny. Also, we need our Tom girls to win every now and then. Like they deserve the recognition they need, man. Best art direction went to Kimetsu no Naiyama, of course, Demon Slayer. I want to say that this one, honestly, yeah, 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 no, no, this one's fine. Because all the nominees for this category were pretty strong. Like, we had Chainsaw Man, Hell's Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen, Oshinoko, and Zom 100. All these, all these shows, including Demon Slayer, had just great visual, like, art styles and, like, coloring. But, like, I'm feeling like... The only reason why Demon Slayer won was because there was more unique hair colors and different colored kimonos, honestly. So there was more, like, vibrant colors, right? 
But like, eh, it's, I mean, yeah, fucking good for good for them. I mean, you, you foldable, like you guys are goaded. You guys are phenomenal. I love you guys. Best cinematography went to JJK. Good job. I mean, fuck again, like those fights, those were fucking cool. Like goddamn, like how they visualized how like the scene would be looking at. Oh my god, like wow, chef kiss. Good job, JJK. Good job, Mappa. Even though you're a fucking asshole for abusing your workers, but good job. Okay, so this one got, caused a lot of controversy, and of course it would, because it is best animation. And guess who won? That is right, Demon Slayer. Like, fuck, man, how do they keep winning? And that's why I hate Crunchyroll, because there's always that one fucking show that just always wins because the fan base is just shoving the fingers up your ass, man. It's just like, God, leave me alone. But, the, like, yeah, dude, fucking Demon Slayer beat... JJK, like, uh, and all the other shit Mappa worked on, they'd be Chainsaw Man? Like, again, I love Ufotable. They're great. Amazing. I love what they do. But damn, like, they don't abuse their workers, bro. Like, give, give Map like, Mappa animators the recognition they deserve, man. Like, they have put so much work into it. Fucking Trigun Loss and Studio Orange is the best, like, 3D animation studio. Like, goddamn, Trigun Stamp people was beautiful fucking mob psycho season three popped off with their like studio bones just went crazy on their shit but like fucking demon slayer really like i like damn damn oh i need to stand up for this one because this was absolute bullshit okay next one i'm talking about best original anime this one th i this one made my blood curdle like i was bleh. like oh my god Best original anime went to Buddy Daddies. And I want to ask you, oh, have you heard of this show? Oh, have you seen this show? No. Wow. Not to my surprise, because this show was ass. Boring. Like, boring as fuck. It is just two guys taking care of this girl who was just a piece of shit. And this was clearly like, oh, we got to make something like Anya Forger, let's have a cute girl be like a fucking thingy, right? But no, she is just an annoying piece of shit. Like that girl, like little girl is so annoying, would not shut the fuck up, right? And then like the main two guys are fucking whatever, absolute losers, yada yada. Like they're both like assassins or hitmen or some shit, right? It's stupid. It's a, it's, it's, ugh. And guess what? It fucking lost to Gundam. Which from Mercury? Like, what the fuck? Like, how, how? Like, what the fuck? How? How do they? How do they lose to that? Like, what? Like, Gundam. All right. And my my buddy pointed this out. He's like, oh, maybe it's not considered original because it's Gundam. Fuck you. That is not true. All right. God damn. Like, Gundam, which from Mercury was phenomenal, and you know it's phenomenal. I fucking talked about it. Checked out that video. But my God, like. How, how does it lose? How, how did that lose? I was so mad that Buddy Daddy, Buddy Daddy, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think you understand how fucking boring this show is compared to the other nominees. Dude, I could have fucking made, wished Akiba Maid Wars won over Buddy Daddies because Akiba Maid Wars was original. You don't have fucking maids in like concerted Yakuza games in fucking Akiba. No, instead two fucking non-gay guys, which are totally gay for each other, are taking care of this random ass girl that's supposedly their daughter or one of the guy's daughter. It's stupid. It's fucking ass. God! I'm fucking losing it, man. God, that's so stupid. Oh, it's, it's too, oh, man, I can't believe I have this energy just when I woke up. Next nominee, <laughs> next, next award they talked about was the best anime film, and that went to Shinkai film, uh, Susume. Uh, well deserved. I mean, Shinkai is just a big, this is just like a fucking notorious director and filmmaker, so of course his movie would have won, and me personally, I didn't like Susume that much, like, it was definitely like a third movie from a director, if that makes sense. There was other great nominees for this, like Blue Giant. I love that movie because, I mean, it's a jazz movie. It's a fucking ja anime about jazz. And it's so good. So I love that. But yeah, no, like, good job. Best new anime series went to Chainsaw Man. Finally. Like, thank God Chainsaw Man won something. Like, because, ooh, blood would have been spilled if Chainsaw Man won nothing. Because fucking hell, man. Like, 
you see the work and dedication they put to that shit. They had 12 different endings for each episode. Like, come on. Like, that is, that, that hasn't been done before. Like, that's so good. Oh, but yeah, Chainsaw Man won this best uh, new anime and well-deserved. Like, fucking Chainsaw Man. Mm, good job. Good job. Best continuing anime, of course, One Piece. I mean, One Piece fucking popped off last year and One Piece fans stay on top. Boom. That's all you need to know. That's really all you need to know. One Piece fans, we don't lose. We don't lose! And then last but not least, Anime of the Year 2024. Okay, this one, I was I made a bet with my friends on the Discord call that if Demon Slayer won, I would have castrated my balls. I was not kidding. I was willing to bet that strong that Demon Slayer would not win Anime of the Year. And, like, I was genuinely, like, sitting there in front of my monitor praying. I'm not religious, but I was praying, and I was like, oh, my God, please, please, please. Right? And then, boom, well-deserved fucking Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Like, hey, my personal best anime of the last year is Vinland Saga Season 2. And if, oh, my God, yeah, I forgot. I never made a video about explaining why I love that show. But basically, a quick, quick summary is that I have never watched an anime that had made me wake up, put on an episode, and just bawl my eyes out first thing in the morning. And so much emotion, so many feelings have come and made me like realize about myself through watching Vinland Saga season two that it was just like very connected with myself. And like, yeah, like I have no enemies. There really is. But like, of course, Jesus Christ in season two won because it, this is family. Like, everyone loves big flashy colors, fucking big hype fights. But, and like, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. But my personal anime of the year was Vinland Saga. Thank God Demon Slayer didn't win. I still have my balls. We're good. <sighs> this, is a, this is probably the sweatiest I've been in the closet. I got really heated. I cannot believe Buddy Daddy won original anime and Mushoku Tensei lost best fantasy like that's just absolute horseshit that is that's terrible uh crunchyroll you're still ass i mean you don't even have all the fucking anime i watch so like hey fuck you man high dive let's go <laughs> but yes this has been my opinions on the new crunchyroll 2024 anime awards and that just happened but yeah hopefully you uh came to this end thank you all so much for watching it has been yuji i'll catch you later